what do you actually want to do as a string player? What do you want to achieve? Have you ever wondered why some strings players seem to be able to reach their goals and other string players just kind of bumble along and they don't really seem to be getting anywhere. Over my 30 plus years of being a violin maker, I've had the opportunity to talk to dozens of famous international players as well as lots of other string players. And there's one thing that sets the high level players apart from other players. Okay, sure enough, one of them is doing a lot of practice, but there is one other thing that's far more important, and that is goal setting. So basically, when you're setting a goal, it's like pinpointing a point on the map that you want to go to. And uh, so if you're going through life without a goal, you, you actually wouldn't really know. Like if you, if you didn't have a map and just started going anywhere, you would end up anywhere without reaching any kind of goal. But if you've set a clear goal, you have the opportunity to reach it. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about like some of the bigger goals that you can set as a violin player. Like what do you actually want to do as a string player? What do you want to achieve? Uh, where do you want to be in five, maybe ten years time? But then also we'll talk a little bit about some of the smaller goals. So what is your actual goal as a string player? There are so many options. I mean, you know, you might want to just play for yourself and, you know, just enjoy learning different pieces. You might want to busk. You might to play, want to just jam with friends or play in a band. Or you might want to become a teacher. Or you might just want to learn a single piece and how to play that well. Or you might decide to become a soloist and play in halls, great halls of the world like the Victorian Arts Centre. I'm standing right next to the Hamer Hall in the Victorian Arts Centre which you know features some of the world's greatest string players. Now the way to really reach your goals is to take these five steps and they're very simple. So first of all you have to visualize, you have to imagine, you have to create a clear goal. So know what you want, know, know what you want to do as a player. So that's very important. And the second, and this is one of the most important steps. And if you do this, you will do, be doing better than 95% of the population and you will have a much greater chance of reaching your goals than 95% of the population. And that's just a simple fact of writing down your goal. Like most successful people in the world have had clear written down goals. Now the third step is, uh, yeah, so the third step is something that's also important and that is that you review your goals daily. Now this will actually make put you higher in that top 5% of the population. That will put you up really high. If you can just review your goals daily, um, so you remember them, that's a huge step towards reaching your goal. Now one thing that really successful people do that works extremely well for them is, and, and really, kind of puts their goal setting on steroids is actually really imagining already having achieved the goal. Now this is this is a critical step. If you can do that it will help you so much. So the thing to do is to actually just take out a few minutes. You can do that when you go to bed before you get up or you can just take some time um, you know just take some extra special time to do that. So the thing to do would be that you actually sit down 
and truly imagine having achieved the goal already. It's all about your imagination. How much can you imagine yourself actually having reached your goal? So just the clearer the picture, the better. So if your goal is to play here at Hamer Hall, imagine yourself standing on stage and playing in front of a enthusiastic audience. Now the next step is equally important and that's doing something. So that's taking one small step each day towards your goal. No matter how small it is, you know, if it's just a matter of, you know, picking up your instrument for four minutes and practicing one particular thing, or if it's, you know, doing the whole Ling Ling 40 hours, you know, spending 24 hours 40 hours a day, how does that even work? Anyway, um, yeah, spending all this time uh, practicing really hard. But the most important thing is that you do take one step towards your goal. And you'll be amazed, like it'll be, it is, you'll find that you'll be able to reach your goal so much quicker than you, you would have ever thought. Someone quite famous said a lot of people overestimate what they can do in a year, but they underestimate what they can do in a decade. So for us slightly older people who've seen some decades, you know, that's not unachievable. You know, having a decade is actually, you know, or planning a decade ahead is actually not a bad idea. So set your goal, really know where you're going. That's like finding that point on the map where you're going. Then write it down, review it daily. Really imagine yourself already having achieved the goal and then take one small step every day. So take these five steps and you'll be amazed at how much quicker you'll move towards reaching your goals. Anyway, if you like this video, hit subscribe. Um, there's also the little bell so that, uh, that you'll be notified the next time I do a video. And all the best on your string playing adventures. And keep reaching for your goals and dreams.